Yo, welcome back to our channel, Zira Networks, where we review, we talk about everything solar, everything renewable. And uh, so far, so good. Your support by subscribing and liking and commenting has taken us thus far. We don't take that for granted. Thank you today. A very wonderful product again. Uh, Day Air. I want to unbox and review Day Air 12 kilowatts hybrid solar inverter. A sing single phase and EU, so it's a uh, European meant for European. That means it's 220 volt output. So, without wasting your time, let's open and see what we have inside. And we'll go on the review today. We'll go a lot deeper by opening the connection part of the inverter so you get to see the terminal side. Maybe, who knows, after this, you <laughs> there might be your next option of the inverter if you want to do solar or the rest. Of it. So, uh, it comes with a five years warranty and it's quite big in size and this is what we have inside so I always like the way they pack their, <laughs> their products so this is out wonderful user manual I think uh, it comes in more than one language but it, the rest are short English is here as well and yes so what do we have here? Uh, a Wi-Fi dongle. You can actually connect this to the internet and monitor live how your system is performing. And uh, that thing over here. Okay, so let's see how some things here. Okay. Wow. Okay, we'll see what we have in this pack. But before then, let me check. Nothing else inside the box. Nothing else. So, Wi-Fi don't go with the screws. So, that out of the box. What do we have here? Okay. So, this looks like temperature sensor. Yes, yeah, I got it right. <laughs> so, this is a temperature sensor, you can see. One. Ah, with Allen key to open the compartment ports. And uh, RJ45 cable for communication, ferrite core transformer, big and small. This is for probably for current measurements. And uh, okay. This is the actual current uh, you clamp it to wherever if you go through the manual you see everything but this is what comes with it and uh, these are all ferrite core so it has three ferrite cores and mounting screws just to mount it on the wall and screw it in then there's this rj45 you'll find out what it is i'm just opening this and this is my first time opening the 12 kilowatt. I did a review on the 8 uh, kilowatt. It's on the channel down. So it comes with all this. This is basically what comes with it. So <laughs> let me put it here. Three wonderful ferrite core, temperature sensor, mounting bolts, currents. Sensing transformer, allen key to open the inside, then RJ45 cable for communication, then this RJ45 uh, <laughs> looks funny, but I don't know what it is. I'll find out, I'll let you know in the comment section. So, and this very big ferrite core transformer 50 by 80 by 20. And that's all what we have inside. 
So I'll bring out the inverter itself, open the termination side of it, and get to explain all the ports and what they stand for basically. So let's go. So this is what it looks like. This is the this is the nameplate. All you need to know about it. But I will still put up a picture of this up here. Then I'll show you the normal data page about the system. And uh, it has three MPPT charge controllers. So you can see PV1, PV2, PV3. So this is where your input goes in, your AC inputs. If you want to use generator, you put it here and your load comes out here. And remember the, the Wi-Fi, <laughs> the, the Wi-Fi dongle, this is where you put it. So you unscrew this and put your Wi-Fi dongle here to be able to, that it ah, power is failing me. <laughs> so you put it here, that is it. Then your battery comes in here. So this is the terminal for your battery and your communication COM1, COM2. So all the possible connections you need are here. And mind you, this is IP65 protected system. And uh, another thing I like about the, it's always touch screen. This is the inverter we install tomorrow with six of the batteries that uh, we just did a review of the battery I think yesterday and it has a uh, it has three cooling fans here on the left side and uh, the DC switch once you turn it on you connect it's an hybrid uh, solar inverter with three MPPT charge controller you turn it off this is the main power power on power off switch off switch off and all your connections it's towards the side, so I think I'll open with the Allen key the supply. I'll use the Allen key, that's the essence of the Allen key. Open it and see what we have inside and what the inside looks like. So let's go in. Okay. <coughs> so like I said, it's IP protected, so you can see. So this is basically what the inside looks like. So all this terminates here and this is the uh, connection apartment. So this I'll be showing you. This is for your battery, positive and negative for your battery. So you can see plus and minus battery terminal is here. And you move from there. This is for your charge controllers, PV1, PV2 and pv3 and each of the uh, mppt charge controller supports two string maximum so you can see one two three four five six two for pv1 two for pv2 two for pv3 and i think uh, the maximum current for each of the string it's uh 44 amps so you lift it you put your cable you socket it so this is where you do all your PV connections and I like the way it is, just lift and connect and press it down. It will lock the cables in place, that's it. So this is your DC, your battery connection. This is for your solar coming in, the three charge controllers, wonderfully built. And this is for your input, you can see grid. GRID here in Nigeria, we call it NEPA. <laughs> so this is your grid input. Remember, it's a single phase system. So this is your generator and this is your load output. Why? This is what you use for paralleling the system. So you can connect up to 10 of the systems in parallel. You can decide whether to use it as a standalone system. You can add up to 10 of this. So if you do 12,000 watts, 12 kilowatts times 10, you know what you get. But I will encourage if you want to do higher system, they have a standalone 50 kilowatt, they have a standalone 16 kilowatt, they have a whole lot. Just go online and check about the, it's a product I've come to like, and I like installing them. So that is all about the inside. Where well, this is your 
communication port to your BMS and your DRM. So that is it all we have. And this is what the inside of the day 12 kilowatts actually looks like. So let's see a little about the data sheet. So everything you need that's here, we'll put a picture to it. So we'll give you the data sheet on here, a picture of this and the complete data sheet. So we are, that is it. Behold your Dayer 12 kilowatt single phase hybrid solar inverter with three MPPT charge controller. So that is it. Day -year, I'm, I'm doing a lot of day -year <laughs> this period. So this is day -year 12 kilowatts. It's wonderful. On the other, when I did a review for the 8 kilowatts, someone asked me for the mounting rack. So let me clarify that here. Come. So this has its own mounting provisions. So it's not like it has a special mounting rack. So you put your provided uh, bolts here and screw it to the wall. Same thing down here. This is the three fans and here you screw it. So you, it has four screws. You screw through them to the wall and uh, that is it. So thank you for watching and uh, always subscribe. Like our page, comment and I would like to see your comments and engage us. Anything you want, like I said, any product you want to review. If it's not too expensive beyond our reach, I'll reach out to you. I'll secure it by you. Thank you. See you in the next video.